Now, the rest of the story. There is a shelter for the homeless on Chicago's north side. It's run by Rosemary Banks and a corps of volunteers. The shelter has room for a hundred. It is always full. Each refugee from the streets of what promises to be a kinder, gentler nation brings with him or her a remarkable story, sometimes heart-wrenching, always fascinating. Tom was such a refugee. A single parent with a brood to care for. He had reared his young ones in an alley in Uptown, had slept on the pavement, had foraged for food in garbage cans. But now for the first time in his life, proud Tom was seeking charity. He had always provided for his family, if not amply, at least adequately, had kept the rain off their heads and something in their stomachs, and yet here he was now on the doorstep of a shelter for the homeless, looking for a handout from strangers. He had never done that before in his life. Frightened, his little ones stared into the eyes of the other street dwellers, and they stared back in vacant wonder. And walking among them, Tom saw himself in a hundred hungry faces and a hundred hard luck stories that few will ever hear. But Tom's hard luck story is one you need to know. This is the rest of the story. To folks who lived in the Chicago Uptown area, Tom's was a familiar face, and from a comfortable distance, he was rather admired, for in an age of disintegrating families, when fathers frequently run from responsibility, Tom was accepting his bravely, and with very little means to do so. Mother was dead. Whatever home the family had had was gone. Tom, limping still from an automobile accident, was utterly unemployable. There was one neighbor, a young woman named Betty, who saw Tom and the youngsters almost every day, and knowing the hardships they faced, not the least of which was the nightly violence that occurred in those alleyways, deeply touched by Tom's paternal tenderness, the neighbor lady often tried to get help for the homeless family, find them a warm place to stay. But Tom always, sometimes not so politely, refused any assistance. He did not want charity. He had been caring for himself and his brood all their lives, and he would continue for as long as he was able. Until that one day when Tom compromised. And yet even there, when he finally committed himself to that shelter for the homeless, even with the volunteers ready and willing to care for his little ones, Tom was still determined to nurture and comfort them as always. He was going to care for his own little ones, and so the volunteers in the shelter, observing his fatherly conscientiousness, gave Tom a new name. They called him Hero. For the male of the species is rarely given the credit he is due. But you've just heard the story of one father who experts say represents the rule rather than the exception. You've heard the story of Hero, a right now resident of Chicago's Animal Adoption Associates. A brave, tough, tender, uptown Chicago Tom Cat. Now Tom Cats, the male of the species, are not supposed to care, sometimes even for their own offspring. You've just met one who does, now that you know the rest of the story.